injured by incendiary devices, six officers total. Um, two of them have gone to the hospital for treatment. Our officer involved unit responded. They're collecting the evidence and reviewing it. We had moved people back. We used OC canisters and um, blast balls. There was no CS or tear gas deployed on the crowd. Um, again, that would have to be approved through me personally, and I did not approve that, and it did, was not um, issued. We have people here who were in the crowd, people who were trying to peacefully demonstrate peacefully get their word across, and uh, unfortunately there were bad actors in the crowd who were throwing us into the area of devices and agitating, and they were the ones who started this melee. I will turn it over to them to tell you about the experience in the crowd. I, well, I, I was in the crowd, okay. Chief, and okay. I was a part of all of this and, and a recipient of it, so I wanted to ask, instead of just asking them in the crowd, yeah. to just talk to you about what happened exactly. Uh, First off, what were those incendiary devices? The pictures, they look like candles. Do we know what happened yeah, and I the extent of those I can give you all the, all the particulars. Um, I can tell you that the arson bomb squad, we, this is all ongoing, as you know. The arson bomb squad has collected that evidence. We'll be happy to tell you exactly what it was when we'll we're able to analyze it and give you more detail uh, about the exact nature of that. I will say that the officers that were injured were injured by those devices that were thrown at them. And, and was you know the, the nature the, of their injury? Uh, I know it's all related to the incendiary devices. Um, two are at the hospital right now. Again, this is happening all, you know, as we're speaking. So happy to give you an update when we have an assessment of what happened. So you did not give the order for the flashbangs that did go out. No, no, I don't. Because I didn't. those are they are allowed to do that under what circumstances? They are allowed to do that as a crowd to, to disperse, or if there's an issue where um, there's a failure to disperse, or there's any threat or harm to officers. In this particular case, as I understand it from the commander, the rocks, the bottles, and the incendiary devices were the precipitation to um, the order to disperse, and then the flashbangs and the C and the um, OC. So, so you, were, you support what the decision that was made down here. Then. We'll review everything, Deborah. I know there's a lot of concerns about what happened. I'm getting a lot of information and tweets from other people. Uh, we'll explore everything, but I'm just giving you the sequence of events as I know them. Again, this is ongoing, and we're giving you the information that we have at hand. We want to make sure it's accurate. Uh, that's how we know. What that's what we know at this time. So the gas that was burning, the gas that made our eyes hurt and our nose and our mouth hurt. What was that? Um, I can't tell you for sure because, as I understand it, there were things being thrown from the crowd and there were things being uh, tossed from the officers. So it's, I would not know which of those items was uh, irritant to you. Does the OC canister do that? Yes. Yes, it does. Okay. And then when I was on the front lines, uh, you know, the umbrellas were down. Obviously, we saw the, and heard the multiple orders to push back. Um, it was when the police started advancing that very quickly it was... I saw pepper spray, and then obviously the flashbangs went off. Uh, at what point were the things thrown from the crowd? Was it as the officers were advancing on the barricade? Yeah, you ask me particulars I just don't have right now. Um, I'm just telling the sequence of events as I know them. Um, clearly, you were there. Um, my, understanding, <clears throat> my understanding is they were pushing forward, and then they received the rocks and bottles, then the incendiary devices, uh, and then we were dispersing the crowd. This so, is just and, such and a I'm flash. Gonna... This is just such a flash point. We've been here every single night. Eleventh yeah. and Pine continues to, uh, you know, we had a few peaceful days, but we it seems like every single days. day they're going to be coming back. Uh, when you have the crowd pushing the barricades, I mean, at what point are we going to ever let protesters up here, or what? What is going to happen so that we're not yeah. having this flash point every single night? Yeah, uh, we're working on it now. We actually were in the process of uh, planning to remove the National Guard. We, we had already reduced the footprint, already had less officers out, so we were hoping that we could tomorrow have a, a time we could have the National Guard not even be present. Uh, we are really in those discussions already uh, because we have had a couple of relatively peaceful nights. And then tonight, um, things just went sideways early. So we'll have to reevaluate that. I know there's a lot of concern about you know, the responses. Um, one of the things as a chief, this is really disheartening for me to see all of this. I think people should be allowed. I've got my own family members in, this, in the protest themselves. So we want to make sure that they're going safely. But I also can't have officers taking rocks and bottles and incendiary devices. Um, so we have to provide for their protection and the protection of others as well in the crowd. So we're going to figure this out. Um, I just believe that we're just going to have to move through these really complex, really important issues and figure out how we're going to respond better. And I